All right, guys, what's up? It's Eric. Um, so it is not, today is Wednesday. Um, we just cambered this car on, I would say, maybe Saturday. Um, and like I said, this is my first time cambering the car. I had never done it before. Um, so we did run into some issues. And I'm being honest because, you know, people that just, oh, my God. I just come on YouTube and you know talk about what they did right and it came out perfect the first time I can guarantee that that's not it's not the case but um, remember I added washers to both of the bolts it's only supposed to be the bottom front um, bolt that you're supposed to put washers on and I guess that's why it's a little tilted more towards the front and maybe that's why my toes out I doubt it because I had noticed it before but when I had the Motegis when I was on four lugs, but it didn't really bother me because, you know, I didn't have spacers. They were bolted onto the hubs. They stick, they, they were tucking. So, I mean, it didn't really bother me as much. But now since I have spacers and wheels that poke, it's a lot noticeable. And now that I cambered it, it's a lot more noticeable. So we're going to go ahead and take off the wheels and um, we are going to take those bolts off, the washers off of the um, bottom rear bolts and also there's a bracket that goes from the brake line down to the over the like the beam that holds the brake line i took this one off already and i'm gonna take this one off because that's what's rattling around on my car so now that i know that i'm gonna take that off and see if it still rattles if it's if it does then i know it's my um the smaller spring on the bottom of the coilover so let's just get started on this real quick oh and i might switch out these tail lights for the one that I had on the black car um maybe i don't know because on this one you can see how there's like lines i guess like a, a rock maybe hit it or not but like i don't know if you can tell yeah, right there you can tell um so i'm gonna switch those out and then in the future i want to get a euro tub um but yeah so let's get started on this real quick and if those dogs would shut the fuck up that'd be great everything up on this um driver's side right now so i took the four washers out of this bolt the bottom one and i left two right here um i know it's a big jump from four washers to two but i mean oh well while i get um a mark two rear beam and the actual shims is probably gonna probably i'm just gonna stay like this um and then if i want to add more we'll see about that but for now, I'm gonna leave it like this, bolt everything up, put it down and see how it looks. Hopefully you can still tell a little bit, um, but yeah. So that's the progress so far. Foggy, there we go. So we just finished, or I just finished on this side. Um, now it sits honestly pretty sh right on the dot, straight, straight line with the, you know, with the body because before it sat like this a little bit so now we have two washers in there that's it um it still actually looks cambered so not a lot of course but yeah if you look at it from the front you could tell um oh shit. So, oh yeah so there's a slight camera right there this is the passenger side See how it almost sticks out almost the same. So that's how you can tell right there how my toe's out. I have two washers on the other side and this still has the four and four, which was a mistake to put them on both. It's only supposed to be in the front one apparently. So we're gonna get this jacked up, get those out of here, the four on this side, and probably just leave the four on the front and see how it looks then. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna take that bracket off. I'll show you which one it is because it's been just rattling around. But let me get all this jacked up and take the wheel off and I'll show you guys. Got everything off. First, I want you to see Luke. He's cute, right? He looks like that little pig from the meme. <laughs> um, anyways, um, this bracket right here. You hear that? It's supposed to hook on to the bottom uh, of this beam. You can see my finger it hooks up right here as my finger is doing it right there like that 
and it's supposed to, I guess, hold the brake line down. Um, but yeah, I don't really want that there. So I'm gonna take that off. I already did it on the other side um, a long time ago. So we're gonna get that done today along with the whole washer thing here. So let me get the caliper off, the rotor and all that stuff so I can show you guys. Okay, so I got everything off um, that bracket. So here's, here's that stupid bracket. So the way it goes, this little thing hooks up right here and it holds it right there like that. But honestly, it's just always in the way when you're trying to mess with anything on the brakes or whatever. So I took it off and the little bracket that was holding that kind of in place as well. But um, so yeah, this is everything taken apart. Now that it's gonna come off and the washer's off from this side. Maybe one from right here. Not too sure, I might, I don't know. I don't know yet, but, um, but yeah, so I have that bracket off and I'm gonna take all these bolts out. Okay guys, so everything is, um, this is just the test fit. I just have two lugs on there, but everything pretty much is on there in regards to the rotor, the bearings, everything. So let me just lower it, see what it does. So, I mean, that looks pretty, pretty good, I guess. Yeah, I should have only two in there right now. Um, yeah, um, that looks, looks pretty, pretty um, even to me. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it like that, honestly. Um, yeah, and then we'll go for a drive and see how it feels. And I'm gonna take the wheel off again and just just to make, you know, give me a peace of mind for myself, I'm gonna put packing grease on the stub axle and the inside of the rotor on the bearings and everything, just so, you know, I have that peace of mind knowing that there is grease on there still because a lot of it comes off when you come and have the rotor coming off and on constantly, so. Things yeah. picked up now. Um, so from a perspective from here, you can totally still see the camber in it. Um, so that's, oh yeah, that's that. And that's this side. Yeah, it looks pretty even, I would say. Um, I still want to see it from, I guess the rear. But if you would, you were to kind of come this way, see that. Here to come this way. Yeah, looks pretty even. So um, I still need to really clean the car and the hood is open, so don't worry. Um, I think I'm gonna clean up the engine bay a little bit. Um, Cause I've been wanting to, but I think since I, I don't know if I told you guys, but every time I, since I got the car, I think I've only really power washed the engine once or twice. And the first time it completely died on me. Um, so I, I believe it was the, the wires that I had on there before that were all cracked that let the water get in. So hopefully now it doesn't do that to me, but we'll see. And uh, I also tightened up the top struts I changed out this top hat, not this one, but tightened it up. I kind of wonder why this one's a little higher up than this one, um, but it doesn't really worry me to be honest because it rides fine. Um, so right now, uh, what I'm gonna do, probably go take it for a test drive and maybe a car wash in a little bit. Um, Cause I am still in my work clothes. I just got home from work. Um, so I'm gonna probably wash up a little bit, eat something and then go for a little drive. But even though it's not as cambered as it was, I enjoy it. It looks, in my opinion, it looks really good. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to do that. And for those that of you that watched my video and noticed that I put washers on both bolts, props to you guys. Um, you guys have done this before, I haven't. But so yeah. Um, in the near future, I wanna get fenders, maybe this door, both front fenders. And then we're gonna to try to get Euro bumpers. 
and paint. I'm gonna replace that sunroof. I got um, a guy from actually Nuevo Leon, I believe, Mexico. Um, that we're gonna exchange some parts um, here and there. And one of those is gonna be the sunroof for a Eurosport uh, front bar and some other stuff that we mentioned, but so yeah so front fenders and then afterwards euro bumpers both so that i can actually i need fenders so that i can actually buy side skirts because right now fender on both sides looks like that so it kind of makes it hard to put the one piece fen uh flares on it um side skirts i'm sorry on so you know i just want to start working on the exterior a little more um but yeah so th i think this is going to be it if so thank you guys for watching like subscribe comment if you like the videos and um if not i'll see you guys in a bit if we decide to record something else but i mean other than that thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time peace